female African elephants evolved toward being tuskless over just a few decades as poachers sought ivory. Here's a summary of the article. At 3 a.m. one morning in 2016, he was browsing YouTube and came across a video about African elephants. That was unusual, since usually just 2% of female African elephants are tuskless. After comparing current populations to historical video footage from Gorongosa Park, he and Pringle came to a disturbing conclusion – the number of tuskless females had increased dramatically over about three decades. Armies on both sides hunted African elephants for their tusks, selling the ivory to finance war efforts over 15 years. Overall between 1972 and 2000, the researchers calculated, five tuskless females survived for every one tusked female. Even in areas with large African elephant populations outside of Gorongosa Park, there are only scattered anecdotes of tuskless males. The study authors think it could be the same with African elephants. If a male elephant inherits a disrupted AMELX gene, he dies, but the mutated gene would only result in tusklessness in a female elephant. This post received a score of 2,400, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Yes, killing all of the female elephants with tusks, leaving only tuskless elephants to survive to reproduction age, is technically evolution. A few decades sounds like a short amount of time for that process, but it isn't. Humans are very efficient. Seems like selective breeding as well even if they aren't domesticated. We as a species have the ability to control what elephants are able to breed. I mean, evolution is nothing else than selective breeding. This gets me hyped for car-proof deer. Squirrels in my city have already evolved so that they look both ways before crossing roads. Soon squirrels will take over, full-grown humans don't even have that attribute. I welcome our squirrel overlords. This phenomenon was used by our teacher as an example of environmental pressure for natural selection when I was in high school biology class a little more than 10 years ago. I've also heard this before. This is not news. I guess it's old then. Damn you. If you kill the ones with big tusks the DNA of the ones with small tusks gonna be the only ones left. It is how the nature works. If you take out all the elephants with big tusks, they won't be able to pass on their DNA. Yep, that's natural selection. Any adaptation to a habitat, be it speed or defense or camouflage or whatever, is because an animal survived long enough to breed to pass on that adaptation. In this case, this is artificial selection since the selection is driven by man. Mechanically, it operates the same way but can be a much stronger selective force because us humans excel at it. It's natural rather than artificial selection because it's not being done with the goal of selectively breeding elephants to be tuskless, or to change them in any way at all. Poachers are scum. People in general who hunt for sport suck. Right what a big strong man it takes to shoot a defenseless and dangerous animal from a hundred feet away. Really a test of character face vomiting. Breeding dogs is artificial selection. Elephants not developing tusks is like camouflage against poachers. Which is artificial selection, as it is caused by humans. Sounds like unnatural selection. Humans are just as natural as any other animal? We classify selection that is driven by humans as artificial to help distinguish the effects we, as the dominant species, have on evolution from processes that occur in our absence. It would be more appropriate to say that elephant families where the females had tusks were driven to extinction by poachers. Why would that be more appropriate? That's literally the mechanism by which evolution operates, and moreover, extinction only makes sense in the context of a classification like species and not specific phenotypes. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.